So we're in the second lockdown because of COVID infection. It's bloody freezing, so I decided to fit one of these Chinese diesel heaters into the Volkswagen T5. Like everybody, I watched loads of videos on YouTube how to do it, and then I decided I wanted to do it in a much neater way. I removed the four 10 milli studs that were in there and replaced them with four standard 20 mil long 6 milli bolts. That was to allow me to put this face plate on top of the floor and then mark it for the holes that we needed for the two pipes, inlet and exhaust. Okay, here's the four drilled out. This was a grommet that was already in the floor, which is removed, it wasn't being used for anything. And underneath here, just this here, this was like an earth connector fixed on the chassis, which was done not being used by anything. So I thought we'll use that one and I'll put three bolts in to fit with the holes that are already in the plate. That's what I did. So we just drilled through the chassis, put a bolt up from underneath, capped it off with a nut so it's nice and tight. And did that for three of them and using this existing earth nut here. Because of the shape of the bodywork here, that's a 20 mil spacer, that's a six mil spacer, and these two have just got the nuts. So when the plate sits on it, the nut is now, sorry, the base plate is now flush all the way along. Drill this hole with a hole cutter, and as you can see, I went right the way through with that hole, right the way through with this hole, and those two holes are roughly in line. I also have to put a small hole here, and that's for the fuel filler hole. Uh, for the fuel supply to the actual heater as you can see on the bottom of the plate here so they're the main holes that you need to drill into the floor pan of the van the only other hole i had to drill was over here just to allow the wires for the actual heater to go through because you've got it comes with a harness this heater so you have to wire which actually goes to the fuel pump and i'll show you that underneath do the wires just go underneath up there and of course over to the control box Now I'm going to fill this space with a one of the fire wall retardant expanding foam so that it completely fills the space so that will avoid any possibility of any of the actual carbon monoxide gases from the combustion coming back into the cab and that will all then be sealed. So it's a fire stop foam. So this is the one I'm using. It's obviously heat resistant and it's fire rated so this should stop any of the heat and actually make a nice seal to the bottom of the van. I've had lots of success with this stuff in the past, it's been very good. This is underneath the van, as you can see the two holes I've drilled through, where the two pipes are going to come from. Uh, the exhaust will come through this hole here, and that will just go backwards along the firewall, and then out underneath the van. And the air intake, I'm going to try and route that, I think inside this section here where there's quite a lot of space. Um, so I probably didn't need to drill the second hole here for it. Sorry, this, uh, this hole, yeah. Didn't need to drill this hole here for it. Um, but if, if, it, if it's not needed, I'll simply plate that up and put a riveter cover on it. I've routed the fuel supply line back to the main tank. I just follow that along where there was already a wire. And then along onto the torsion bar. And then I've fitted the pump there with the filter there and then the line just goes back to the tank. I've done that so if there's any air bubbles they'll sit actually in that filter housing there and just at the top of it so you won't get any interruption to the supply of the fuel and that's all from the rear of the engine looking forward. These heaters come with a, a piece of stainless steel exhaust pipe and a small silencer on the end that measures about 60 centimeters long for the pipe and then maybe another 40 um, for the actual small silencer but that's too short for the heat shield underneath this vehicle so I've gone and ordered myself a one meter long pipe 1.2 meters I think it is and that should allow me to take the pipe right the way along that heat shield and out through the side of the van right so we're back under the van now as you can see the two holes are drilled um, I've blanked one off now I only needed the one hole because I decided to route the air intake inside the plastic cover so it's not exposed and as you can see with the extended exhaust pipe takes it right along to the rear of the vehicle and out through the side so that's a good good solution for me in terms of getting rid of the um, exhaust fumes. Well, you can probably hear the pump, I've put this foam round to make it a bit quieter. It's not that loud to be honest but I thought I'll make it a bit quieter anyway. And if you look you can see the pump pumping through the filter. And I've now had it running for about an hour um, and it warms the van really well and it's quite, quite quiet.
So this is inside the van. This is um, the seat. Um, basically, I just made a wooden panel, covered it in the same fabric as the rest of the van. Um, and this is the nozzle with the heat blowing out. Seat back in. This is underneath the driver's seat where the actual heater fits. I've surrounded it in foam, which I've tied on just to keep the noise down. Again, it's not that noisy, but every little bit helps. So I've even got a little bit of storage space to the side of it as well. So all than that, I think it's quite a neat job and you don't need to hack big holes in the floor of your van to do it. Just a couple of small holes and the whole thing's done.